CCTV Camera World is proud to provide support for products purchased from our website. If you purchased your product from another vendor, please contact the vendor you purchased from for further assistance. In this video, I'm going to show you how to play back recorded footage from your security camera Zinc NVR or DVR using the SCI View app. So first you need to tap SCI View to open the app. And then to get to the playback screen, you need to tap the play icon inside of the camera reel to the right and center of the app. So I'm tapping that icon now. And it's going to take me to the playback screen and automatically pull up some footage from my cameras. Now you see the black screen. That simply means that while those two cameras had recording, the other two channels or cameras did not have recording. So you can choose which cameras you're getting playback from by tapping the little server icon at the bottom left hand side of the app. And here you can see there are all the cameras I have added to my system. And then if I wanted to bring in a different camera, I would first need to tap somewhere on my grid screen. So I'm going to tap on one of the channels that doesn't have video. And then you can tap on one of the other cameras to bring that camera into that grid that you tapped. So you need to tap on the grid spot first and then tap on the camera in the server page. So you see when I changed the second grid option from the channel two to the sixth camera here in my list, the sixth camera actually had footage when those other two cameras had footage as well. So for channel three of my playback screen, I can tap and bring in the fifth camera. However, the fifth camera doesn't have any recording for that period. So any of the cameras that are currently playing back will be highlighted in blue. So you can tap on that grid page and then change the camera as you see fit. So I showed you, I just took that camera and changed it and then I changed it back to the camera that had footage for that time. So I'll leave the one channel black and then tap on the server icon again to get out of this page. And then if you tap on the grids, it'll show you the recording you have for that channel. So if I tap on each one of these individual grid options, we'll see the timeline change because the timeline showing me the video that I have for that channel. So for example, that channel three, I do have earlier recording. So if I tap on my timeline and I'm just dragging my finger across the timeline. So if I drag my finger to the right, it's going to pull my timeline to the left. If I drag my finger to the left, it will drag my timeline to the right. So I'm going to go to the earlier video here. And now it's going to pull up the video for this period on that camera. So now I'm going to bring all of my cameras here later in the day. So since there's footage for all of these channels, it went ahead and synchronized the video for all four cameras that I have added to my playback screen. So I can go even further in the day and you'll see everything changed and now sync. And now that truck is in the view for all of these cameras. And we just saw that truck in the background drive by in all four cameras. So that's how you can choose the channels that you want to play back and then choose the timeline or modify the timeline and view synchronized video for all the cameras that you have added. So next, that brings me to the playback type. So you notice in your timeline, we have green and yellow recording. Green is the continuous recording and yellow is the motion detection recording. So in order to choose which type of recording that I want to see, I can tap the playback icon with the little carrot icon to the right of center on the bottom of the screen. So I'm going to tap that now. So this brings up my recording types. Here you see all recording, which I currently have selected. Though my system's only recording normal and motion detection recording. So the types are normal, alarm, motion, IO record, which is another type of alarm recording, intelligence recording, which is an AI enabled recording, PIR detection, if you have a passive infrared detector connected to your system, and then person detection, which is basically smart motion detection. It's another type of AI enabled recording specific to motion detection. So again, I only have normal in motion. So if I were to tap on normal and then exit out of here, you'll see that I have the green recording. So if I go further in the day, again, it's going to pull the continuous recording for these cameras that I have on my NVR. And this is the green continuous normal recording. So if I tap on this again and change it from normal to motion, and then exit out of here. 
you see that there's no data for those first two channels. However, I go further into the day, roughly around the time where that truck was, we'll see that I do have motion detection recording on a few of my channels. So it will only show motion detection recording when these cameras actually detected motion and the NVR recorded it. So going back to my playback type, I'm just gonna go and scroll back up to the top and then tap all and exit back out. And now I'll see I have my continuous and motion detection recording. So it's very convenient to select the recording types. If you wanna search for certain events on certain channels, then you can do so by selecting that recording type, looking at your timeline, and then moving your playhead on the timeline to that. So next is the playback controls. Those are found underneath your grid. And you can also rotate your phone to bring the cameras into full screen view while you're playing them back. And then rotate your phone back into portrait mode to bring it back to this interface. Now we have the forward arrows and the reverse arrows. So the reverse arrows will simply slow the playback down. You can go all the way to 1 16th, so it starts at a half time playback, quarter time playback, an eighth time playback, and then a 16th time playback. To get back to normal playback, just hit the play button. Now it's in one times recording. For fast recording, we can do two times, four times, eight times, and then 16 times. So this allows you to go through your playback timeline a lot faster than just normal playback can scan through events and kind of see what's happening in the cameras. And then to bring it back to one time, so just tap the play button. Last but not least on this row of playbacks, you can delete all of the playback cameras that you're looking at. This doesn't delete any of the recording. It just stops playback for those channels that you have added. If you want to bring those channels back up, just tap back on that with the play button. And of course, drag your play headline to where you have footage recorded for all your cameras. Next is going to be the audio button that's at the bottom. So it's the speaker icon. So you can tap on the speaker icon to pull audio if you have audio recorded for that channel. And then tap the speaker icon again if you don't want to play back audio for that channel anymore. So the final two icons are the snapshot and local record options. What this allows you to do is save a snapshot or video directly to your phone for further reviewing. That way you don't have to go to your DVR if you spot an event, you can save it to your phone and preview it back on your phone as well. So you do need to tap on the grid screen and select one of the channels that you wanna take a snapshot from. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a snapshot or live recording from channel three that I'm playing back currently. And then I'm gonna tap the camera icon that's gonna take a snapshot. I can either tap on this image to preview it or I'm gonna take a quick local recording. So I'm gonna tap on the camera icon. You see the blue icon come at the top on the grid and then tap the camera icon again to stop the recording. So to get to that snapshot and local record, I would need to tap the left arrow at the top left-hand side, tap on the person icon, tap on the file list button and here we can see all of the local snapshots and local recording that I have on my iPhone. And then it has a date and timestamp when I actually tapped the button to take that. And then to manage these, you can tap the check mark and delete them by clicking the delete icon and clicking OK. And then there is a share and another download button as well. So you can tap this to share them. All right, I'm going to tap back out of the file list, go back into my playback screen. And then last but not least, you can tap the gear icon at the top to turn synchronous playback off or turn it back on. Hopefully this video helps you learn some of the playback features that are available from your Security Cameras Inc. system using the SCI View app. Thank you for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.